With me on the set is none other than Honorable Kato Ubama. He represents the people of Rubaga. Thanks for joining me, sir. Thank you very much for this big opportunity you have given me. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm excited. What we say, we do understand that, uh, of course, uh, in the past, you had to heed the hairwaves, making serious headlines about your remarks on uh, MP, uh, vehicles meant for MPs. Yes. Now, this time round, there were reports that uh, you guys you have got the money. It's our right to get this money. Our right, we, we, we are requiring it from the constitution of Uganda and that um, the members of parliament must be fac facilitated. But definitely, we haven't got the money yet. But I'm very perturbed with the way how the, the monitor and other newspapers are portraying that they have paid us the money. And this is not very good for our constituencies. Like me in my constituency, I promise my constituency that when they bring the 100 million, 150 million, I'll buy the, the ambulance for them. Then the other things I'll be giving them, I'm putting that money in the circle. So everywhere I've been moving around, they've been asking me, Katolubwama, why don't you give us the money? You have got the 100 million, they have paid you the 100 million, yet you haven't got them that money yet. And it's very, very absurd for, for newspapers to report on things which they don't have concrete evidence uh, it's very, very absurd, really. That means that uh, nothing like a deposit of 100 million has, no, we, we has have knocked just, your account. No, it hasn't rained on our account. No, that's to be polite. No, that hasn't rained on our account. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a very empty account because we don't have that money yet. So, but, but we think, we are hoping that end time government is paying us because you, you find members of parliament moving on streets of Kampala on border borders, which what? is very, very, very bad. It's, it doesn't show a good picture for, for, for the parliament and for the government. Last time I checked uh, the vehicle that uh, you are moving, you are driving about a V8. You're not driving yeah, a no, I, yeah, I've got, I've, I'm driving a V8, a Lexus V8. Very, very expensive car. It's, it's 250. I bought it 250. So. This money they are giving us are is very, 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 very little money. Um, it buys second-hand cars from, from Dubai. And, but I bought mine, it's, a, it's in a very good condition, and I'm driving it. Uh, what would you need, as Katolu Wama, to buy the vehicle that you want? No, I want to buy, I, I would like to buy a brand new car which is 500 million. Uh, but the government, because we have very many, the government cannot afford that. And even they know, because ministers, if you go to Toyota and, uh, and you, you ask for a brand new Land Cruiser, it's 500, it's 450, 600, th those big, big, big brands one. Like that one, President Museveni is, is driving, it's like 600 or 800 million. Very, very, very expensive car. But you know, uh, members of parliament turn it down and they, they, they decide to buy second-hand cars, which is not very, very, very good for them. Because in the end of the day, you'll find them uh, making accidents in the roads of Kampala or in the roads of around, around. Because those ones who are going for long distances, uh, like uh, in the north, these second-hand cars, they will drive them for some time. And definitely when, when when, when, when they give us this money, you have to top on and we, you get a very wonderful car. If I can ask you this, if I can ask you, um, when uh, one of your colleagues uh, was advocating for car loans, the parliament should give you car loans, yes. not free money. Yes. What's your take on that? At same Nganda was, was selfish in, in, in doing so, because this is not the first time this is not the first time the, the Parliament of Uganda is giving uh, members of Parliament cars. It's, it's, it has been there. It's, it's one of the necessities which makes up a wonderful members of Parliament. Because these cars, we are not eating them, but we, we are driving them throughout our, our constituencies. So uh, uh, his remarks were not very, 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 very good. He was not sincere. Because when you look at him, he has been in the, in the ninth parliament and he was driving that, that car and he was not opposing it. Why, why now he's become so selfish to oppose uh, 
to, to, pose, uh, to bring that motion. I, I, I don't think it's very, very, very wonderful. For but if, again, I can know from you, sincerely tell us, how much have you been promised by the Parliamentary Commission in regard to the cut? Because there are different stories. Others, 100 million, others, 150, others, 200 million. No, to you, be you know, you know I, was, I, I was the first person to, to propose to, to the Parliamentary Commission that uh, really, if you want, because this money is not enough, but we know the government doesn't have the money right now. But uh, if you give us like 20, 200 million, we can top of that money and we get good cars. That's what, that, that was my proposal. But people turn it around, the Katoa is very, very greedy, you know, people are dying in Murago. But, but members of parliament have been getting this money. So, but yeah. but, but what, last, last parliament it was 103 yes, million shillings. Yes. But reports coming out is that uh, it's, it's likely to go up to 150, others are talking about 200 uh, million. No, 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 actually it must be 200. But, but, but the, the last time I heard that the parliament is concentrating on 150, but this is not the first time the parliament is buying cars for the MPs of Uganda. It's not just only in Uganda. It's in Kenya. It's, in, it's everywhere in the country. You go, you go, you, you go to Rwanda. They are, they are, they are buying, uh, they are driving big cars of 500 million. Are, for them, they don't give them the money. They are giving them the cars. So I, I, I think it's not. There is no reason for aulation. People shouting. What the, the parliament's being paid a lot of money. No, this one is. One, 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 of, one of the things which requirements, the requirements, uh, like somebody becoming a director of MTN, there are those requirements which they give you. you know, things, he, he, he has to be to work for, 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 for everything he's getting. So. Uh, indeed, Honorable uh, Bukatoum, we need to say that uh, thanks for joining us on this interactive news segment I'm glad. where we discuss issues that affect the people. I'm